Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Gamma Cast. Okay, so I realized I messed up last week with the order of things. Uh, I guess we got DC earlier than expected and I didn't um, I didn't check to see if it was uh, last week's or this week's shipment. So this week we're just gonna do Marvel and next week we're gonna go back to your regularly scheduled Gamma Cast programming. So let's get straight into it. We got Dark Ages number two by Tom Taylor. This has been um, been really popular around the world. Um, there's some really cool designs for Captain America that I've seen. And everyone loves Tom Taylor. He's like Australia's pride and joy. So you should check it out just for that. Because if you don't, then you hate your country. We also have Hellions number 16. We've got a Psylocke um, bearing cover. I like Psylocke. I like how she's drawn sort of like Olivia. Uh, I'm, I want to say wild, but it's not. You know, the chick who played uh, Psylocke in that one movie that she was barely in. Yeah. Olivia Munn. Yeah, that's it. She looks like that. <laughs> we also have Dark Hold, the Alpha Variant Edition. See, I tried to search for this comic last week, but I couldn't find it. Yeah, so Dark Hold is... I think audiences should be familiar with what the Dark Hold actually is. We've got Scarlet Witch in the cover. Um, the magic book that appears in WandaVision. Oh, check it out. It's also weird that Agatha Harkness is gonna get her own show, which I don't know how that's supposed to work. We also have a variant edition of Spider-Man 75, The Amazing Spider-Man, by Zeb Wells, who is also writing She-Hulk, the TV show. So if you want to get a taste for how his writing is like, you should pick this up. And uh, if you just want to get the taste of Nick Spencer out of your mouth, maybe see what Zip Wells brings to the table. As for uh, image or indie titles this week, we've got Jennifer Blood. I picked this up because of the cover, because yeah, I let my eyes decide which looks cool. This looks cool, very femme fatale-esque. We've also got A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance. Um, Tim says this guy looks like V.D. Wong. <laughs> um, it's by Rick Remender. Uh, people like Rick Remender. He's been pretty popular. He wrote um, Daily Class. Yeah, check it out. As for uh, key issues this week, we've got the Saga of Swamp Thing, Alan Moore, uh, cameo by John Constantine. This goes for $50. People always talk about the John Constantine cameo. Uh, I don't think this is what he made his debut. I could be mistaken, but yeah, Alan Moore is also brilliant at writing Constantine's character, or should I say Constantine? I guess that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. We've also got West Coast Avengers number nine, first appearance of Alloy. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Kelly Thompson is badass. Uh, she wrote a great Captain Marvel run. Um, as for trades this week, we've got The Call of Cthulhu, a mystery in three parts. This has probably been adapted to death. <laughs> We've got like um, this graphic novel adaptation, we got a video game, we got the actual book, uh, we got uh, elements of Call Cthulhu in various TV shows and video games and the like. So if you want to see what the big deal is with HP Lovecraft, you should check that out. We've also got the indie smash hit Snowpiercer, the prequel part two, Apocalypse. This is the best-selling graphic novel that inspired the TV series. There's a Snowpiercer TV series, as well as the movie on Netflix, that I think people have been raising adequately. I think Jennifer Connelly is in it. Yeah. Cool stuff. Um, so, that's all for this week. But might as well just tell people to buy Future State Justice League, because it's here and it looks cool. Joshua Williamson writes a really cool Justice League, and the art is amazing. <laughs> It also has um, all the Yara Floor One Woman stuff, as well as like some other One Woman Future State stuff. That's all for this week's Gamma Cast, unfortunately, because of my screw up. And I hope you are all doing well and that you're staying safe and healthy as parts of the state reopen. And um, we're going to do interstate travel again and people are going to make the schools even though we're in the height of this pandemic. All right. See everyone and Gamma off.